to know more about the difference between a bare repository and a non bare repository please visit the link given in the top right corner now let's start with the difference between a bare repository and a middle repository the first option is bare repository will be identical to main repository same way a middle repository will be an identical copy of the main repository so over here consider that uh, this is my main repository which is available in the cloud let's say either in the gitlab github or bitbucket so this will be the remote repository or main repository if i want to create a bare repository from this main repository then i can use this particular command to create a bare repository and in case if i want to create a middle repository from this main repository i can use this command which will create a middle repository over here this bare.git and this middle.git are the folder name in which i want to clone the content of the main repository so using this command we will have this bare repository called bare.git and using this command we will have middle repository called mirror.git and both of these repositories will be identical to the main repository second is bare repository will be isolated from the main repository whereas mirror repository will be non isolated from the main repository it means that for example there are some changes over here in this main repository now if you want to fetch all those changes from main repository to this bare repository it won't be possible using this git remote update command whereas in case if you want to fetch all the changes from this main repository to this mirror repository it will be possible using this git remote update command then uh, it is a bare repository same way mirror repo is also a bare repository because when you use this command git clone mirror it is going to call this dash dash bare option initially and hence both the repository will be a kind of bare repository itself now both the repositories won't contain any working tree information now if you compare config file and refs folder of bare repository and middle repository you will be able to get the changes that what are the changes in between these two repositories in terms of configuration then the next part is it is not possible to use push option and in the case of mirror repository it is possible to use push option so to understand this first of all let's say we have created another non bare repository from this bare repository using this command same way we have created a non bare repository from this mirror repository using this command so again over here this bare and mirror are the folder name in which we want to copy the content of this bare or mirror repository respectively all these different option like git push pull fetch rebase you can utilize all these different options over here in this non bare repositories because this non bare repositories will be your normal repositories in which you can utilize all these different operations after creating this non bare repository from either a bare repository or a mirror repository let's say you have made some changes in this repositories so using git push you have pushed the changes from this non bare repository to this bare repository in same way using git push command you have pushed the changes from this non bare repository to this mirror repository now if you want to push the changes from this bare repository to this main repository using this git push command it won't be possible in case of mirror repository if you want to push the changes of mirror repository to this main repository it will be possible using this git push command then it is not possible to use pull status rebase all these commands same way in mirror repository as well it is not possible to use pull status rebase all this kind of the commands because these repositories does not contain any working tree the purpose of this bare repository is to relocate main repository at another location so git clone bare this option is generally used to create or relocate main repository at 
another location. So uh, right now, let's say this main repository is at the Git bucket, but if you want to move this main repository to GitLab, you can utilize this git clone command. The purpose of this mirror repository is to create a secondary copy of main repository. Now, how this configuration file will look alike? So this is the configuration file of bare repository. Whereas in the case of a mirror repository, we have following information in which we have got this URL and fetch configuration as well. Apart from this, how this bare and mirror repositories will look alike. So it will look alike as shown on the screen. So over here, this bare.git and mirror.git that I have created using that git clone dash dash bare and git clone dash dash mirror option. And from this bare and mirror repositories, I have created non bare repositories called this bare and mirror using normal git clone command like git clone bare.git and git clone mirror.git. That's it for the day. Thank you for watching this video.